Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Suikoden in 3. Today, well, we're going into Chapter 4. It doesn't actually matter who you select here to enter Chapter 4. Uh, so just choose whoever you think you, you're starting the chapter as, pretty much. Uh, there'll be another choice very soon. What, what is? Dots. Honestly, kind of a nice place, right? Just need some high speed internet over in the corner and you're, you're set. Maybe a refrigerator. The flame champion Bernie, my beloved, is deceased. But how can a rune bearer die? The rune bearer is supposed to be immortal. Not immortal. Not immortal. Kind of like eternally young. Not immortal. Immortal means you can't die. Rune bearers can die. They can be killed. I just. They can't die of, like, natural causes, right? But Kronos, being stabbed by someone's kind of natural- No, it's not, okay? That, no, that's not what I mean. Natural causes, like, aging, natural diseases, and stuff like that. They can be stabbed, they can be poisoned, they can take their own lives, even. They're just- they're not immortal, though. That is true, but he chose to grow old with me, rather than live eternally. See, that is more accurate. Also, if you heard purring or a little bump there, Venus was on my lap when I started the episode, and she decided, you know what? I don't want to listen to Cronus. So she got up, yawned into the mic, and left. Ah, my dear Sana, how do you like being known as the champion's lover? I don't like it. The champion's lover. I never let, intend to live in somebody else's shadows, let alone bear such a grandiose title. <laughs> Who knew? I don't like being labeled either, but somehow I get the name and it's stuck. I never thought I'd be working for justice or the people. I was born and raised here in the grasslands, and I just couldn't bear to see my land ransacked. That's how it all began. People were so excited to finally have hope. They projected it onto me, and here I am now. I think he's supposed to free you from Chisha as well. Or it could be Cy Cy Cypher? Cypher? Is it difficult to always, always sustain that heroic image for the sake of our people? Uh, it's hard to have such devoted people imposing their ancient dreams and ideals on me. I want decisions to act as I wish, to live and to die. Or to die. But it doesn't do any me any good to complain. I just must think positively. That sounds more like the man I know. You've been behaving more like a champion lately. But it's just the show, isn't it? I'll admit, I'm relieved. I'll only fight for what I hold dear. Holy Harmony has agreed to a 50-year ceasefire. This should give us enough time. Us? That might not be enough. Yeah. But at least we won't see our loved ones destroyed before our own eyes. The name champion means nothing to me. My time with you, that is the most precious thing. Bernie, that's kind of dark when you put it that way with the whole, at least we won't see our friends and family die. And that's good enough, but you know, it's fine. Because we'll clean up the mess now. And that kind of is, like, the point of the story in some regards is, you can't rely on past heroes or past protectors to stand up for you. You have to do it yourself. Then he used an ancient secret method from the Sindar to seal the true rune he bore in his body, and chose the Paris along with me. Dots? Ugh, I don't doubt it. Sounds like something he'd do. Uh, when 
She says seal. It's a little bit different from what they were talking about with the true water rune seal. Uh, how do I put this without spoiling anything? Uh, he removed the rune from his body and sealed it away. It wasn't like he just sealed the power of it away. He, he removed it from his being. That's why he grew older and died, right? Then the flame champion, the hero that protects the grasslands, is no longer? Son, the shadows of the dead don't protect your loved ones. You do. You'll see. But the new champion must unite the grassland clans with Zexan. They're still in constant conflict and under threat of Harmonian army. Bernie accomplished it not with his title as a hero, but with his own abilities. Isn't this so? Jado, you still haven't forgiven Bernie, have you? You never change. You always... Uh, you were always an idealist, and it encouraged Bernie to no end. But the fact that you didn't seem to understand him hurt him. Bernie left me with a message, which is why I'm here today. He was able to predict the future to some extent, because he bore the true rune. Uh, we'll go over that a little bit later. <laughs> there, there, there is something we want to talk about about that a little bit later. The true fire rune he sailed is protected by the ancient secret method of Sindar. If you wish, I can open the door for you. But this will require you to take the power and burden the, of the flame champion upon yourself. Take over the title as the flame champion? Then, who is it going to be? Are you saying that one of us three will be his ancestors? Bernie often said that one's destiny is not predetermined, but is changeable. He said even destiny makes room for a person who is strong-willed. Bernie told me that there are three of you, that the three of you would appear here to take over the true fire rune, but he didn't specify who. He believed the person that a person's will, rather than their destiny, could open the door into the future. The decision on who will resume assume the title of Flame Champion will not be made by destiny, but by the will of the person. Choose your destiny! Alright, so now you get to choose the main, well, Flame Champion for the remainder of uh, the game, pretty much. Um... So yeah, let's just go over the characters here. Hugo is the canonical flame champion. He has a pretty decent fire skill and a decent magic skill. Uh, where is he? Jado is a massive downgrade from his current true lightning rune. Because you can only bear one true rune in your body. So he can't have the true lightning rune and the true fire rune. The powers would kill him. Like instantly, they would they would just blow up his body pretty much, or something like that. I forget the whole details of why it's like it's, your body can't sustain two true rune powers. Um, now, if you have like a half of a true rune, remember Windy and Sweeten and One was trying to get a full true rune with her half true rune. Maybe there's some way around that, but yeah, Jado is really really good with the lightning rune, and honestly, I like the true lightning rune way better than the fire rune. So, I. I I think it's just a huge downgrade for him in terms of that. Uh, but he is overall a great character to play. Uh, then we have Chris over here, who sucks at magic. She has the lowest affinity for fire. If you choose her, it's just just choosing her that because you like playing as her. That's pretty much it. Like, if you want to use the best... If you're going to be using the true fire rune and you want the best damage from it, it's actually Jado that you would want to pick. Now, I'm going to be showing scenes from when we select all of these because it is different. And uh, honestly, the game plays out relatively the same no matter who you pick here. It's like you pick someone, the, the there's different scenes from when you pick it until, uh, until everything kind of starts 
like, uh, how do I say this last part? Until, like, things start settling down, I guess. And then things are generally the same up until one point in Chapter 4 where Chris gets extra scenes for her being the main character. Um, but anything after that, aside from the ending, is relatively the same. Uh, there's some differences in text here and there, but it's relatively the same. Um, but yeah, the ending's different, and the scenes after you choose are different. Uh... One of the downsides for Hugo is he's not very great at magic. Like, he's decent at it. Um, but he's not great. Hugo, uh, Jado is actually just great overall in terms of, like, physical and magical. Hugo is really, really great at physical with how many times he gets to attack. And Chris here is really good at physical attacks. She's also very tanky and... She gets uh, the ability to get that shop, the see those the counselor shops in the council building. Um, the other two don't get that. Those are her pretty much benefits. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna choose Hugo as the main flame champion. We'll go over Chris's and Jado's after we settle down. So select Hugo as the flame champion. Yes, I do. Cronus, what happens in the true lightning rune if? Uh, you ch choose Judo. We'll go over that when we select Judo. You know, when I first did this, I swore we were going to take, like, his staff and his outfit and just dress up as him. Doesn't happen like that, though. During my first battle, I lost my best friend. Sergeant said it's all part of war, but I'd do anything to have enough power to stop that kind of thing from ever happening again. Honestly, wish we did kind of take his staff. Bernie, Mr. Flame Champion, we need the power you possessed. So can you please let me? Can you please let me have that power? Yeah, in terms of DPS, I think Hugo is just straight up the best physical fighter of the, of the main characters. Due to how often he can actually attack. Uh, pure, like, damage strike. Outside of him riding Fubar, I think Chris is slightly better than Jado In terms of just pure damage hits. But overall, Jado is just probably the best statistical main character in the game. Uh... You will follow Bernie as the new flame champion, Hugo. To fulfill his last request, I will open the door to the true rune. Behind it, a challenge awaits you. By passing this test, you will improve your ability to bear the rune's responsibilities. Alright. Alright, so... Um, we can keep these guys together. Yeah... Yeah! Okay, that should be fine. Do I need the save? Probably should. Uh, you know, actually, I guess I don't need to keep hiding the save screen anymore. Uh, yeah, I had one of them save at, like, Thomas's Chapter 2 from, like, when I did my notes. Uh, well then, let me guide you. Are you ready? Um, yeah... Hold it? What happens if I say hold it? Oh, can we walk around here? Oh, I've never done that before. Yo, is there anything I can grab? No? Uh, okay. Um, alright, cool. Let's check out this real fast. So you notice our money? The money from all four characters merged together. The storage units from all four characters merged together. Um, I believe the inventory from the other main characters get sent to storage? Sure. And yeah, okay, if that's better, why not? Uh, fine leather is a downgrade for everyone. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's, uh, hey, let's go ahead and talk. 
or go ahead and do this. Change formation? We don't need the change formation. Why would we change formation? Wait, can we? No, we can't add people. No. What? What is change formation? We can do that from the menu. That's weird, but okay. That's weird. Please show me the way. Yeah, I'm ready. Step, step, step. Yeah, I never really explored that room before. I mean, there's nothing to it, but it's still neat. The true fire rune loot lies here. Proceed and open the door. That's the true fire rune on there. Remember how the beast rune was embedded in the floor and sweep it in two? Same kind of concept right here. Huh. I'm a dragon! <laughs> ah, the test! I see! Alright, so this battle area has 5,000 HP. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just go ahead and attack Jado. That's one target, right? Hmm. Do I save that? You know what? Do do this one. Yeah, Hugo, as he levels up and gets faster, he can tack like five times. It's pretty insane. Uh, Augustine is a little bit better at attacking. This might hurt. Just the tad. Okay. That and yeah, why aren't you using the big one, Kronos? I'm saving it. Why, Kronos? Don't worry about it. Are you done already? Nope. Uh, hopefully we can get a... Let's see. Yeah. Actually, you go and attack. Please heal, please heal, please heal, please heal, please heal. No, 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 heal, okay. I actually kind of wanted you to heal first and then kill it. That's fine, though. I mean, it's not really fine, but... I, I didn't want to kill it before she healed. 
honestly, I probably sh should have. And we can't heal again. You can do drops, though. Okay, good. And hopefully, Jado kills it. Or Hugo. That's fine. Okay, good. Uh, did we all get any level? Just two of us? Okay. And we get Dragon Incense. It heals 50 HP the entire party. It's not great, but it's good. I did it! Now, I have proven myself. Well, yeah, with the help of two other people. You always have Jado or Chris or Hugo with you here. You can't do it by yourself. I would, I would imagine they would want you to do it by yourself, though, right? Or maybe not. Maybe it's smart to come with help if you can, right? And Hugo becomes Forever 15. My job is done. Let us return now. It is time for the living to continue their lives. I don't know why they faded the black like uh, white like that. Uh, Lady Chris, Jado, I hope I'm the right person for this. I have no idea why I was chosen as the new bearer of the fi True Fire Rune. Because Kronos chose you. He shouldn't bear the rune if he doesn't understand its true me purpose for meaning. Why? Why are you here? This place is supposed to be sealed. You just unsealed it yourself. When I sought the rune previously, it was impossible to find this location. The flame champion must have been an extremely cunning man. I searched the Buku, the Safer Clan, even Alma Kanan. He caused a lot of trouble, but it doesn't matter now. I found what I'm after. Give me the rune. Hey, I saw you back on the highway! Oh yeah, I remember you. How can a kid like you ever have bear a true rune? Life sure... Life has strange twists, I guess. God oh, damn it! Let's get this uh, on... Uh, get on with this then, shall we? I'm a very busy man. Uh... I won't give you the rune. If you say, alright, you just take positions like, alright, let's fight then, something like that. Go ahead and resist. Uh, or actually, you know what? I think if you say, alright, you might skip the battle? I don't know. Go ahead and resist. It will give me a chance to practice my powers of persuasion. Hi! Shall we get started, Flame Champion? Alrighty then. So, uh, True Fire Rune. Honestly, do Explosion on Yubber. You do this. And Chris, don't go up there. Please. So, this rune should kill the Chimeras. I'm hoping. The fire rune takes out Sarah and Masked Man. I think Masked Man has like a thousand HP, give or take, twelve hundred maybe. Yubber is the real powerhouse here, as always. Shit! That's not good. Okay, that's the Pale Gate Rune, if you don't know the look of that one. This might just kill us, to be quite honest. One down, okay. Yeah, hopefully, Joe, we might win this, actually.
This shit, everyone... I think everyone's dead, to be quite honest. If the, the fire rune hit... I mean, if the fire rune could have went off before... If we get that fire ring, we would have been able to get that off before Yubber attacked. Yo, oh, we won! It's an optional win. Oh, wow, we got a lot of money for that. It's a shame we have max money. Yeah, so Mass Man had 1,000 HP, uh, Sarah had 900 HP, and Yubber had 2,500, and the Chimera's only had 700. It can't be. I can't believe my eyes. You can't have awakened the power of the True Rune already. Impossible. I guess we have to admit it. Be careful, he's using the True Rune's power! Damn it! What was that? Was that the spirit of the last flame champion? It's just more feudal resistance. Please hold it. The gate has been opened. Uh, what, what's going on? Somebody tell me! What's going on? <laughs> like, holy shit! Boss, uh, what's happened? Where am I? Yeah, I, I'm, you're probably thinking like, oh, Mass Man was about to use the True Rune, right, Cronus? Why wouldn't, you know, the True Fire Rune... The True Fire Rune hasn't fully awakened yet, uh, you know, quote-unquote in lore. It just a, entered my body. I don't have technically full control over it just yet. Um, but Jado does still have his Lightning Rune. But here's the thing. Yubber has a True Rune as well. Or is a true rune. <laughs> the lore's not really specific on that one. <laughs> uh, he either has a true rune or is a true rune. Um, so they would still be able to outdo us. Because a partially awakened true rune with another true rune would be outclassed by two full-powered true runes. What's happening? This place is filled with traces of the last uh, flame champion's aura. It's not advisable we fight here. Sarah. Yes, sir. Why? Why can't we do as we choose? Is it the spirit force of the rune? Stop! Stop right there! No, don't run away! I will leave the rune with you for a little time for the time being, but I will be back soon. Hey, uh, what's going on? The hell, where the hell am I? And we passed out, because when you get a true rune, it takes a strain on your body. Uh, this, this is strange. Where am I? Ah, uh, look, it's Hugo. Hello. You ought to know where you are. You've been here before. You're in the Chisha village. How can this be? I thought I escaped from the cave where the flame champion was lying and... You fainted, that's all. You gave us quite a scare. Sana said it could have it could have been because you used your true rune power. You looked exhausted. I think I remember something, but it's all fuzzy. Hey, Sergeant, what's happening outside? Quite a bit, actually. There's a broad representation of clans out there. Let's see, there's the Korea clan, the Lizard clan, the Iron Heads, along with Harmonian mercenaries. I, I, I can't believe they're not fighting by now. Why are they all here? Chief Lucia and Salome, one of the Zex and Iron, had agreed to that. The conflict with the, uh, was the responsibility of the Harmonian army. Even if it's true, no one will believe it. 
Especially not the lizards. Their chief was murdered, you know. They don't, won't be easily placated. That's true. I won't be appeased easily either. I'll never forget Lulu. But still. Alrighty, Joe, get in my party. Yeah, it's a shame we didn't get the fire ring from the Flame Champion hideaway. That would have helped. Not even just right before, but like right now. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised we won that battle. Uh, Massman, Yubber, and Sarah can hit pretty hard. Like if they go before you. Where's the inn? Here. All right, great. Because I'm going to save and say that's it for this episode. But yeah, the uh, last battle was optional. Seems a little bit different if you lose. Um, but they hit very hard. Yubber's physical attacks is stupid. Uh, Sarah can heal and do a lot of damage with, I think, the, the fire rune as well. And Masked Man summons with Pale Gate, and he has that mysterious other true rune that, uh, really wrecks shit. So, yeah, we kind of got lucky that he didn't use that rune. Instead used, I think that was the second level Pale Gate spell. Might have been third level, but still hit hard, but... Not enough to kill us all. But anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.